super proud to be a Detroiter and I, I think Detroit really gets a bad rap. Having had so many fond memories and a great upbringing, it's my heart, you know, and, it, and it's my home. It was important to my mom that we had arts education. I was in a honors program, science and arts it was called, and I ended up taking my electives in the art department, and specifically in the fashion department, because I always loved to sew, and it was something my mom and I did together. When I was in the 11th grade, I got a scholarship to come to New York and attend Parsons for the summer. It really opened my eyes to the fashion industry and the importance of, of fashion. I think the whole business side of it um, became clear to me, and so I knew that I definitely wanted to come back to New York and come back to Parsons, and that's what I did. Going to Parsons really did help develop my design aesthetic. There were a few African-American students and there were, I guess, three of us in my graduating class. You've got to keep yourself inspired. You've got to see challenges as opportunities. And I think at the root of what we do as designers, you know, we're, we're problem solvers. You know, having your own business, it just takes absolutely everything you have. Everybody thinks it's super glamorous and, you know, you might be toting bolts of fabric down the street or on your hands and knees cutting a pattern. It's a lot of hard work and it's draining. And I always emphasize to students, you know, it's important to take internships and get inside of companies and see how they really function and make sure this is something that's really for you because the guts of the business is not glamorous in the way that it's shown on television or in movies. I love this work, you know, and it's a gift to be able to do something you love for a living. And it's been a ride, you know, it's been really gratifying, it's been a lot of fun, it's been a lot, a lot, a lot of work. But I've worked with a lot of amazing people, um, had some just great experiences, and I, I hope it all continues to, to flow.